Alrighty. Lynn. We're gonna try to finish her. It's not on stream. I'll try to finish her uh, tonight. I wanted to start streaming a little while ago, but I got distracted by uh, Elden Ring. So, whoops. <laughs> Alrighty, so... I guess some ketchup from last stream. As you can see, she's got pink on her face now. Besides the pink in point, you know what I mean. Uh, um, I redid the skirt. I don't know if it's apparent on stream, uh, but just did some changes to it. I think it looks a little bit better in person now. It's a little bit darker. I went with more of a stipply texture than a hash texture. I might add a little bit more to that. Um, but the first things first today, oh, I also did, I decided to just do all her earrings as uh, steel since we already got that blue face paint. So the items left are the beads. So we're gonna work on those first because that's kind of a big thing. Plus her headband. We should make sure not to forget that. That's just gonna be some leather. And we're gonna do some touch-ups on the skin. And then we're gonna glue on her arm once all those things are settled and we'll see how it looks. Maybe do some touch-ups to the shield based on that. I think some of these rivets could be popped out a little bit more, so we'll probably do that. Um, and then I did a little bit of work on the base, uh, went over it with some different tones, dry brushed it a little bit to bring some of the edges out. Um, yeah, we'll probably add some uh, sounds like some, some grass tufts or something like that, some little dead grass tufts places but otherwise it's mostly there I guess um, I might try to do, I was thinking of trying to do like striations but I also just kind of want to be done so it's probably gonna it's probably just gonna be mostly this I might go in and bring some of these out a little bit differently like some of the rocks because um, it looks a little bit too homogenous at the moment but yeah, so let's get started. We also got some fun paints in the mail yesterday. So let's use some of those for our beads. Uh, we got the new Bright Jade from Pro Acryl, as well as a bunch of the flesh tones and some bright yellow green and dark yellow green. Um, Cause I didn't really have like a good annoying yellow green color in my repertoire. So now we got that. What else did we get? I think it was mostly flesh tones. Those are the things, and then uh, khaki was one of them. I thought there was a... Yeah, there's that golden brown. We can try messing around with that. Maybe we need some leather, right? Let's use some... Uh, oh, there's the dark flesh. Looks pretty good. Maybe we had that. Where is... Let's try using some protocols for this final stuff. There's mahogany. And there's kiki. So let's, uh, and then I think plum and stuff were the new ones. Sure, we can try out plum. Why not? Let's get crazy. I want to see what the difference between plum and purple is because they look pretty similar. This is plum, this is purple. I guess it's just slightly brighter. So let's mess around. We're gonna do some colorful beads. But I hope everyone has had a nice weekend so far. My weekend's been pretty chill. quite a bit. But I'm having trouble finding smithing stones so I can upgrade my weapons. So I think that's kind of, I think I have enough like stamina and endurance and all that stuff to take on the bosses I'm trying to fight right now, but I, I'm just not outputting enough damage. 
think it's mostly on my weapons. Because when I upgraded them before, they started doing a lot more, so. Maybe I'll find something and it'll be great. Let's have that swarm flesh. Let's see what that looks like on the pile. That's tan flesh, warm flesh. It's very bright warm flesh. Okay. How about golden brown? It's definitely golden brown. Nice. Uh, yeah, I, I ran into the dragon yesterday, and I was like able to dodge all the stuff, but I, I... Hey, Suicide Krini, how are you doing? Um, I was able to dodge and like do stuff, but I just have like a long sword. Uh, so I wasn't really able to do much damage to it. <laughs> but getting in close was risky. Well, that dark flesh is nice. So I'm just putting, putting a bunch of paints on the palette here, and at least show off. So I got some of the new Pro Crow colors and some old ones. I'm, I'm in a Pro Crow mood today. And we're doing colorful beads, so that's why I'm putting so many colors on my palette. So that's Faded Plum versus Plum. What about... Did I already put the purple? Oh, I guess that's the purple. Okay, so Faded Plum... Looks like it's like a little bit more magenta-y than purple. Okay, fun. Uh, where's, where's dark purple? But yeah, so far I'm liking Elden Ring a lot more than any other Souls game I've played. Because just being able to go somewhere else whenever you want is nice. And also, I usually hate fast travel in games just because you have to sit there and wait for things to load. Arbuckles is a good one. I, don't, I think I have high key yellow. Let's see. Would be here, I think. Yep, I do. I should try using that some more. Most of my fantasy and game paints I, they are kind of not used at the moment. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't done any multiplayer stuff yet, so maybe I'll mess around with that. Uh, if I get Hillen done during this session, I'll play a little bit more Elden Ring tonight. Um, but I'll also probably start a new project. Got it. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Okay, let's paint some beads. Taken down the beastman. I found Marguerite and I got wrecked. Um, nice. Um, then I went south. I got to the boss there, which is like a chimera looking night dude in the, uh, the keep there. And I could figure out his attacks, but like. I don't know, I was not I was not in a boss fighting mood, so I went and explored uh, eastward, because I hadn't done that, and I found a keep where I got squished by a guy with a funny hat, and now I'm painting. Margaret, uh, the fight was really cool for Marguerite. Um, I, was, I was able to get to the second phase of him, and then I was like, I'm not, I'm not strong enough for this right now. <laughs> I'm only level... Like level 20 something, if that. Um, so. Yeah, it's it's got the stuff I like from Breath of the Wild where it's just like there's a big world to go and explore and see what the hell's going on. 
what you're doing, computer. There you go. Um, is this like, yeah, it looks like there's leather string in there, like these bits. Probably need to bust up the hair colors again, touch up a few spots. Good game so far. Glad that I caved and uh, bought it. Let's see, we also caught up on Ranking of Kings last night. Continues to be very good. I'm almost all done with the Expanse. Which is kind of sad. But I'll have to find another show to watch after that on my own.
Okay, let's do some highlights. the back of the model so no one's ever really gonna see this <laughs> but we'll do our best anyways This might be a strong word. We'll get paint on it. How about that? Okay, so I like this lighter green one now. Thumb. Something with those. Messenger went buzz. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Message her when buzz again. Stop going buzz, please. Jade bits. Okay, pushes up ever so slightly more. Just mix mixing in some of these uh, off-white flesh tones into the highest colors that we got to punch them up even more, go along the edge, get a nice little highlight going down it, etc. etc.
Okay. Grab some beads. Here, I'm just gonna point this down here. Just get some color on them. Would have been nice if I kept her X and separate notes for future me. I think I'm definitely starting to prefer sub-assemblies more and more. Just makes the painting process a little bit nicer overall. Okay. Now she has some pretty beads. Yay. That no one will ever see. Um, let's... Get some paint on her headband thing. Let's get all the blue out of there. Go over it with some mahogany. If we can get a good angle. for a second. <laughs> that. Is there anything left on her that does not have paint on it? That's the question. I think I kind of want to touch that up too. It's a little messy. Might as well. Okay. So let that sit for a second. I'll grab these colors before we forget to do that touch up. We can put some of these pro curls away since I grabbed almost all of them. More buzzes. More stream crashing. And my computer. I believe in you. Just hit this with the hair dryer because it's still wet. Mm. All right, there we go. Let's try some of this dark flesh. Or is this mahogany and that was dark flesh? I should have paid attention. I think this is dark. just getting in the way right now so we're gonna pop it off set it to the side
Let me get back on camera, that'd be nice for everybody. Enough. Okay. Is there anything here? Let's see if there's anything that I can't reach with the uh, shield that I still need to paint. Not that I care about at this point. Uh, let's touch up the hairs down there real quickly. Let's get some of the I am getting more of a hang of these new chimeras a little bit more and more. Um, I also found that they behave a lot better when they sat on my wet palette overnight. <laughs> I think they just really need like a lot of uh, medium and moisture added. I may just like put some medium in the bottles so they come out a little bit nicer for my preference but we'll see all the uh what is this stuff is that hair sure
That's better, I think. Some more touch-ups on the hair. Here, let's see if the shield is there. Obviously we don't see that, but we can see these little bits and it'll look like ass if we do not clean it up a little bit more. Okay, that's a bit better, I think. I think. Let's check on this side. Some bits that I want to touch up on the fur there to get some light, but it'll be easy to do with the arm on. I'm still not happy with that light. Let's 
like. Good enough, I say. What about the shield itself? I'm not looking at the shield. I think also good enough to get on. So let's glue the shield on. YOLO. Let's get this done. Gonna swing the microphone a little bit so it's not in my way. Let's get all this stuff out of the way. switch over to like Loctite or whatever. That one seems to give people less problems. Maybe we'll get some Gorilla Glue again. from how it got stored because I think it got squeezed. Let's see if we can get all this off. super glue bottle that has a needle applicator that doesn't always get jammed. That would be greatly appreciated. Okay, good enough for now. I'll clean this up. Out before we pull it near the model. And we got the glue on. And carefully get it in. And we're just going to hold that for a second. anymore. Don't 
need you anymore. Don't need you for now. Okay. There she is. So what's left? Uh, clean up of the arm holding the shield. Now you can see that all a bit better. You can get to it a little bit better. Um, and skin in a few places. And then the shield itself, I want to polish up some, some little bits on it. So, thanks. Uh, sig, sin, singi, singe, singe. Hope you're having a nice Sunday or Monday, depending on where you are now. Um, yeah, getting there. And there's a couple of metallic cleanups as well, uh, in addition to the brass on the shield. So let's get the arm back on. Take a look at her on the base while we're at it. Nice. What'd you guys do paint up there? Do and or paint up, I don't know. into the axe to make it look a little bit better. We experimented with the metal a lot on this piece, using some different colors. Nice! The, the Whiskey's monsters are a lot of fun to paint up. The, uh, the heroes are usually a little hit or miss for me. Um, or the like, humanoid sized ones are a little hit or miss for me. But yeah. Let's do skin first for, actually let's do this for year first because it needs a little something something. By something something I mean not being shadow because of where it is now. Hey, thanks for the follow. Appreciated. Okay. Now after it looks a little bit better, let's get some skin tone colors out. Red oxide, more orange. Because this Caucasian flesh are Deliliad yellow, Deliliad yellow. Tulululu, red. <laughs> Tuladine, Tuladine. I don't know. Words are hard. And then there's magenta. And some white. And we should be all good. Actually, no. Some royal brown too. And now we should be good. Okay. Get some magic mix and 
some glaze medium on the palette. Finally, I'll move through my glaze medium after three years, two and a half years of having it. <laughs> I'm just doing very faint glazes to just kind of touch up a few things. Sorry if I keep going off camera. Being bad about focusing on that right now.
Yeah, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna be jumping around all over the place. Uh just doing little touch ups to whatever. I see that I feel like needs something a little bit more. There's a couple touch-ups on her face, especially around the face paint, so let's see if we can't get a good color for that going. brush. Here we go. It's just like ever so slightly too bright. It's been bugging me for a while. If I were smart, I would have touched up before I put the shield on. Much better. Okay. There's that. I'm gonna punch up the ear ever so slightly. Touch-ups on her feet. Her little hobbit feeties, dwarf feeties, dwarf feeties. Okay, her feetsies, 
And as much as I love kind of how that hand looks, it's a little just too dark. For the lighting of the whole scene. Something to keep in mind if I ever paint her again is do more fun lighting. Let's move over to the shield. I also watched uh, Free Guy last night because it was on HBO and I think it's also on Disney. It was fine. If you want a dumb, silly movie to watch, it is good for that. There's that crack on the front of the shield. I want to do a nice little edge highlight on it if I can get a good angle.
Okay. some of these rivets. those rivets and just try to add a little shadow. Make sure our brush has a point before we do that though. Okay. Just kind of going in with that very light highlight glaze and adding a little bit of brush texture, which will give it the look of a little bit more brushed metal, hopefully. So hide our crappy blends.
Okay. Let's get out some steel colors. Clean up these couple of steel places. Just a couple that it little little love. dark over here. Check one to fix. Too bright. Okay, that's right for a second.
spot in right here. So let's see if we can't make that a little bit less weird. The skin could always use more work, but I'm also reaching that point of I just want to be done. <laughs> Let's take a look at around the base. Mm, oh wait, I want to mess with the axe a little bit, right? Yeah, there's the face. And a hey, mini mancer. Sorry, it just was in the zone. I think we're, we're like, I think we're almost there. Basically there. Oh, there's always things you can keep doing on any piece. I think I've basically gotten out of filling what I wanted. I learned a lot how to speed things up for next time. Learned how to get like a slightly different looking steel, which is cool. Uh, a little bit more reddish. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the outside of the shield. I think the steel on the outside of the shield kind of sucks ass though. Um, let's see if we can make that a little bit better. 
Wild boar boy, borscht, borscht, borscht. What is borscht? It's like a stew, right? Okay. Noise. Um, so I'm getting sent something this week uh, for commission, which will be some KDM stuff, but that probably won't be I'm guessing here till end of the week uh, or a week after. Depends on shipping time, so I don't know, we can we can look at some potential projects um, before end of the stream and maybe pick something. towards a bust, but, um, open to opinions. is that it's not completely run by Neko Galaxy, it's run by some other people as well. And those other people are the ones who are like, terrible at communication.
That's also why I said not to get excited with their recent update where they're like, we have to fill in paperwork because that was, that was their previous update too, was we're waiting on paperwork. It's like, okay. You guys said you were going to fill a month after the Kickstarter ended and you guys didn't have the paperwork sorted? <laughs> like, okay, man. My paperwork, I mean all the like shipping and logistics stuff. stuff. I did back the uh, Acalera models Kickstarter, the Yarns of Elderwood. Right now I'm just sitting in it for one figure, which is the, uh, I want the, uh, the Baba Yaga lady. I think it's a very good figure. I don't have anything quite like it, so. No worries. of Elderwood Kickstarter. So I got a cool Baba Yaga lady. There is one other figure that I'm potentially interested in in that Kickstarter. Maybe one or two. There's the witch on the broom and then there's the lady with the helmet. But I kind of need to sit down and look at them more. And I've been going back and forth on Mini X Kickstarter. The models just aren't like, I think they're good models. They're just not jumping out at me. Hmm. Debating if I should bring the leg up a little bit, especially if I want to show off this side. Yeah, scrap the airbrush.
Hi, Anna. How are you? That's why. There we go. Hey, it's good. I guess it's even brighter. stream from the PlayStation 5. Um, but I wouldn't have a face cam. Um, I don't think this laptop can handle having like the, the out or whatever. I don't know. And usually Apple has an event in March. Or I guess two more days to March. I think main things we learned this time on this piece. We can use the airbrush for quite a bit. I mean, you're painting big metallic things that you're not sure of the shape or where highlights should go. Just very quickly sketch in those shadows and highlights, just the extremes, and then figure them out. Which is why we spent 
for right around the shield. Like for for example, so there was a stream I think last Sunday where I was doing the shield, and it was basically just like two hours of little fine lines going back and forth, right? Uh, that side of the shield pretty much took the exact same amount of time because <laughs> I just sketched in where I wanted the highlights and the shadows, and then it was done. And went back and added some texture later. up on the front of the shield ever so slightly more ever so slightly streaming PS5 uh, is I want to do it from my couch, which is figuring out cameras and stuff over there, which would be a pain in the butt. My headphones are about to die, but I think we're also close to being done, so let's see if we can beat the headphones dying. Guess no. Highlighting the rim of the shield on this side? Yes. Do I care that much? Mm. Debatable. Hello, Crypt. What's what the fuck? recruiter in my inbox. I typed up a draft but I didn't send it yet, which was I'd rather die than work for crypto. <laughs> Assuming you've watched the uh, the Dan Olson folding ideas line goes up video. Of 
but you should watch it. It's very good. Uh, yeah, his YouTube channel is called Folding Ideas. Um, he did a... Yeah, crypto's ad advertising. What, crazy? Um, but yeah, Dan Olson does, yeah. It's very good. Uh, it, it's, it goes into why NFTs and crypto and everything is terrible in a variety of ways. Um, and how how it doesn't actually solve any of the problems that it claims to solve. Let me turn the light on in my room. It's a little less spoopy. It's getting dark here a little earlier because it's been raining all day. Let's throw some varnish on here real quickly. There's a Kickstarter for a crypto. <laughs> Metaverse, aka second, what if second life was worse? <laughs> Yeah, so the Dan Olson video is just kind of like a comprehensive video of everything, really well done. Uh, like, it's very long, but um, there's not like a wasted minute in it, um, at least in my opinion. His videos in general are very good. He also has one called In Search of Flat Earth, which I like a lot. Um, it starts off about flat earthers and like that whole mentality. And then it posits the question, where did all the flat earthers go? Because they're not as big on like YouTube and stuff as they were before. And the answer may surprise you. Spoiler alert. It's QAnon. Okay, say hi. <laughs> she, she followed me. Apparently now on Twitch, because she made a Twitch account it looks like. Not, not like, not Bo. There's a friend that's called the child for some reason. I don't know how he started. Okay.
Ça Slightly. Oop, there go my headphones. Un momento. Let me grab my other headset. <laughs> that pop over here and play now we got music again okay 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 Uh, I airbrushed just some varnish. That's what I was doing. Um, so just all over. Just to kind of homogenize everything and just get a look to see how it all looks. build them or uh, paint them or everything. Remember speed's not the end all be all. As long as you're enjoying your hobby time. faster and like take note of things that make me faster because I want to paint more models. Okay, how many do you have to build?
Woke up at two. How late were you up? Like a doom, a doom scroll cycle. Okay. <laughs> that is an odd rabbit hole to fall down. Poe is doing rollies in the other room. I don't know if that comes in on the microphone. If you can hear him go. <laughs> fall down the rabbit hole. Hey, Mace, how are you doing? We are checking to see how we feel about this. Did Chris, did Chris wrap up Spirit Fair? I was looking in there for a little bit. I did say Elden Ring. I was talking about it a little bit at the beginning of the stream, but yes, I've been playing that. That's why I started streaming a little later today. Um, it is pretty fun. Why is there a gun caught my brush? Um, it's definitely the most that I've liked a Souls game so far, at least. Hey, Super Voximus, thanks. Hey, we are we are almost done here. Um, um, let's let's take out some tufts and see how we feel about tufts. You got too many minis today. Did you buy more spizmerings or did you uh, do something else? Let's see. Painted an alien? What kind of alien were you painting? And as always, the, I don't have any like link moderation in chat, so if you've been working on something and you want to show it off, feel free to. Um, my computer's been a little iffy, so I probably don't can't pull it up. But other people can click on it, and I can click on it. 
Yes, there are ways to strip paint from your mini. What What's the material of the mini? Do I want to see what one of these looks like? I think these are going to be too big. Yeah. Simple green is what I've generally used for like resin and plastic miniatures. Yeah, there's a uh, LA's totally awesome is another one. No, I don't like that. How do we feel about a big tuft? Let's see what she looks like on the model or the base, whatever. Oh no 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 no. Um, so. LA's totally awesome and simple green are cleaning agents. Like you put them in spray bottles and you can clean your kitchen and stuff with them. I don't like that. Um, I can, I, I mean, you're, this is this is simple green that I diluted with water that I used to clean out my airbrush. I diluted it with quite a bit of water. Um, but if you use like the pure concentrated simple green that comes in a big jug, uh, you can pour that into like a Tupperware container and dunk your mini in it and leave it, let, let it sit for like six, 12 hours, like overnight basically. And you can scrub it with a toothbrush under the faucet. Um, and then once, if it still has gunk on it, you just dunk it back in and let it sit. I've heard from people that they've had better experience with LA's Totally Awesome over Simple Green. So if you can get that, I would suggest getting that. I've used Simple Green and it's pretty much work, but there'll still be some stuff left in the crevices. But if the, uh, if your paint's not like super caked on, you can always just rebase coat it and keep painting over it. But if like, like I would, I would only like, you only really need to strip it if like, oh, you put the paint on way too thick. Um, so there's my wordy explanation. Do we feel like it needs tufts? I feel like it needs tufts. It needs something, right? What else should I put on? I have like normal static grass. I could do normal static grass. Um, Oh, you, this was like your, your first mini? Just started painting? Black lives will hear about trying to move you across you, it'll turn into a mess. All right, my stream's gonna go boop for a second. Okay. Um, I mean, you could probably just like rebase code it and start over if you're like, if you, if you don't think you can, uh, um, like just paint over it normally. Um, yeah. But if you also want to try stripping with simple green just to see what it's like, that's also a good exercise uh, to do. But yeah. Fun little alien dude. Did you get also like get a 3D printer and start messing around with that and then decide to uh, um, paint minis? Nice. I've not gotten into 3D printing myself yet. Um, not. I don't have the space for it, unfortunately. Uh, I'm being indecisive about tufts or static grass. Mm, that so bad. Yeah. Like me said, 3D printing adds texture. So you can get, you can also get primers that are a bit of a filler. Like I think Krylon has some. Um, you've had a hard time getting the paint to stick. That's interesting. 
I wonder why. Excuse me, come out please. I feel like a little tough there is good. Debating if we should do like full on static grass on the thing that she's standing on though. Just mulling things over in my head. You guys are talking about 3D printing, so that's fine. See what static grasses we have. None of these, none of these tufts are doing it for me just yet. Figuring out grass. So let's clean this space off because this grass stuff gets messy. Yeah, yeah. I would I would look into some like filling primers and that should like help get rid of uh, the print lines too to make it a little bit more fun to paint. I think. Um, I don't I don't know what they're called. I haven't used them myself. Unfortunately. I think, yeah, like I said earlier, I think Crown makes one. You know, look, it's my lovely, messy little palette. Ooh. somewhere else. She can go on top of the iPad. That works. Let's, before we put that stuff on, let's get our thing loaded up. Static grass applicator. Yeah, thick primer. Hi, Poke. Yes, this is gonna make the noise that you don't like. Let's make sure this is off. Hello, sir. Poe has come to investigate. Okay, that is off. Good. Mr. Hobby. 
Yeah, Mr. Hoppy stuff is good. I used their uh, varnish to seal on stuff. Even Dwarvenite. So this is a static grass applicator, so basically it's a... Uh, you can make one of these yourself, but every guide I've seen uh, looks really sketchy. <laughs> Use like an electric fly swatter. <laughs> and I was like, I'm... I don't feel like getting electrocuted. So first we're gonna take some of this scenic glue and hopefully not just screw everything up. Thank you for the follow, Supervox. Super, super, super Vaximus. couple of patches. And then we're gonna make a huge mess. That's the wrong cable. Alrighty. Who's ready for mess? I love mess. Yep, and Poe comes running back because this makes a really high-pitched sound that I can't hear. It probably doesn't get picked up by the microphone, but he hates it. He hates it. That's why, that's why he's here. here. See, he has come to investigate. <laughs> uh, it's it's the, the Static King from Woodland Scenics. It's probably way overpriced, but... Um, so basically, this, this static grass is these loose little fibers, uh, right? Um, so you, you can just sprinkle it on your bases and you can kind of get it to like stand up if you just tap it like that. Um, but if you're doing like a really big area, the static grass applicator will, um, make it staticky so the, the grass tufts will stick on by the bottom and then go get staticed upwards. So that gets you the grass that stands up and then you can uh, take your time. Tap off all the excess, which is what I'm doing now. And then it comes with a little comb. So you can you can just kind of uh, get your grass where you want it. And we'll probably go in with some scissors or something. Thing. Make these long tufts a little bit less stupid looking. Yeah, this is, you can also use this to like make your own grass tufts if you want. Um, basically you just get some wax paper, put little dollops of glue in whatever shape you want, and then static all over it. The only thing is, it makes a huge mess. Uh, and <laughs> the, the first time I used this myself, I accidentally made the mistake of turning it on when it was upside down and just shoots the grass out of it. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Mistakes are made. Um, and you should just take the excess and then put it in one of these bags and deal with it later. <laughs> Try to not waste too much. Yeah. 
Yeah. A, a resin 3D printer will give you like nicer minis, to, me, nicer quality minis to paint usually. Um, you just have, resin is a lot sketchier than uh, plastic is though, or whatever PLA I think is what filament printers use. use. It is highly toxic until it's cured. Uh, you don't really want to get it on you. guy, I think. Uh, he's a good resource for 3D printing in general. Okay. okay, everything's settled. We got it. We did it, everybody. Other messy thing that I'll do for basing is like snow effects, uh, and I have this like really fine snow powder stuff. Um, actually, let me get a vacuum real quickly and just vacuum stuff up, and then I'll continue my messy story. The snow effects, uh, basically you like airbrush a layer of adhesive and then you powder on the snow effects and then if you want it thicker you airbrush another layer of adhesive and you keep doing that. Uh, the thing I did the first time is I did the adhesive and then I did the snow and then I didn't like cover up the overspill of the, the, the snow and so when I went in with the airbrush it just went everywhere. It's great. Yeah, I've had that like super... Okay. I know that uh, Marco Frizzoni's new video 
He has like this little, little puck hand desk vacuum cleaner thing. That looks pretty handy. Let's see if I can uh, find that. Yeah, like, uh, this is fine, but I've been thinking about getting something for like the kitchen or whatever, because sometimes I'm too lazy to walk all 10 feet to my closet to get the vacuum in my kitchen when I spill like coffee grounds out of that coffee grinder. Life is so hard sometimes. Um, okay, let's see how we feel about putting little tuft. Where did I put my tweezers? There did I put my tweezers. Hey, Paul. You're all wigged out from all the noises? Yeah. Poe really does not like Elden Ring. Uh, I don't know, how do we feel about that? Does it need anything down there? Yeah, it's because of the loud noises. He doesn't like them. He's not a fan. So he comes out and he's like, why are loud noises? And that's also because I start going, shit. He <laughs> doesn't like it when I go, shit. Tuft it. Okay. We got one vote tufted. Found it. We're good. Whoop. We're good. Okay. Do what? Oh, like assemble minis? Uh, you could wear a respirator and that'll help. Look at that, look at that little tuft. Uh, we don't want to close that yet. We have to clean it off before we close it. So, I'm gonna varnish it one more time. And then I'm gonna paint it, and then I'm gonna arrange it over Back on. Speaking of respirators. Oh. Hard to say how it looks.
put them in there up for a little bit. Let's get the finish out of the airbrush. So one thing I'll say for basing is odd numbers are better than even numbers. What I mean by that is if you have like vegetation or something on it, three is better than two or one is better than two. Or three is better than four, etc. Odd numbers look a little more natural than even numbers in my experience. I think the same would apply to like any sort of ruins or anything like that. that for a second. Okay, so one thing I've always been told and is a good thing to keep in mind also for basing is if you put static grass or grass tufts on your base, don't just leave them naked. So I just varnished and the reason for that was A, there was some glossiness from the glue that was starting to dry up. Um, so we got rid of that glossiness and then B, give sort of a, a primer to our grass. Um, so now I'm going to use this airbrush and we're going to make the grass a little bit more brown. Maybe. Possibly.
Oops. Don't push you away just yet. And now I'm gonna take a this dark grayish color that I like to use a lot of my KDM stuff. It's called Gollum Gray, and it's really nice for just kind of adding like a drop shadow sort of thing for when I'm lazy. It's almost like a Prussian bluey kind of color. I put way too much in the airbrush. There we go. It's basically just where she's standing. What's going on in here? <laughs> I don't remember what that one does. Okay. I think I think that's just me explaining what I'm doing. So we're we're putting the mini on the base. And seeing if there's anything we want to change. And I think I'm just gonna glue her and say YOLO.
Just gonna hold her there for a second. Should be good. All right. Do we want to put any pigment powder on it? That's the question. Let's take a look at some options. Do I need to varnish anything again? You should be fine, I think. Let's peel this off. Oh, that was not satisfying. Unfortunately, my tape jobs are very haphazard and uh, just try to get it covered so they're not like very satisfying to pull off. I try to be careful to not goof up the base too much. stuff there, but we can fix that. Spots we need to touch up with some paint, so let's do that maybe. Yeah, we can just get some uh, video out. Pretty happy with that. Took, I don't know, I feel like I spent a lot longer on this piece than I probably should have, and I think a lot of that was just like indecisiveness on things and trying out a bunch of stuff, so. It was not wasted time, but uh, stuff to keep in mind for future stuff. Let's use maybe the last of this bottle of black paint, maybe? No, there's still more. All right, thanks for hanging out, Mace. And thanks for the compliments. I'll, uh, I guess, maybe see you on some streams this week. The Dwarven Forge stuff. That'll be fun. Yeah. 
Have a nice rest of your Sunday evening. poking through or the primer so we'll see how long well that that paint holds <laughs> there's a few spots that I probably should have uh, filled in a bit better with uh, putty but it's okay She is. Let's set it down before I drop it. Okay. So I said earlier we could take a look at some options for the next piece. towards the uh, Dwarf Miner from Spira. Since he's a fun little guy. Um, another one I've been thinking about doing is this awesome cyberpunk dude from uh, Ouroboros. Might be a nice change of pace. Could do some fun lighting stuff with him, I think. There is also, if we want to paint a girl, uh, Alana from Big Child Creatives. Sword is a little bendy at the moment. But if people are more interested in a figure with a base and such, uh, I know Keegan's wrapping up his project and he wanted to like paint these kind of at the same time. So I'll see if maybe he's working on that. Um, whether Sir Kay from Camelot. Or there is a Sayotan, Skeotan from Daleguard. Hello, you joined right at the very end. Congratulations. <laughs> you missed, you missed uh, the finishing stuff for this. Hey, thanks for the reset. 
But yeah, so I'm gonna eliminate a lot of for now. I guess there's also Oops, come on. What's the question? ¿Qué es la pregunta? No. You can stream as long as you want. Just won't make any money. Uh, there also won't be any ads on your videos, which is great. Um, like honestly, I kind of wish I just didn't do the affiliate thing, and because they gave, I think everyone has sub or uh, has emotes now. You don't need to be affiliate to get emotes. Um, so I'm just putting all the paints away while we uh, wrap up. Okay. Guys, keep getting stuck on my own. I, I just showed it. I just showed it. We worked on this. We did all the finishing stuff. We did some touch-ups on the hair and the skin and the shield and such. And then we did some touch-ups on the base and we put some grass on the base and then we put her on the base. And we peeled off the tape. No worries. <laughs> so now, now let's just say, what, what should what should the next project be? Um, so we have these two as options. We got this boy, Sir K, from Camelot. If I feel like hating myself, I think I think I'm not I'm not gonna do it. Yeah, I don't want to. Oh, never mind. Ignore those options. We're not we're not gonna do a, a figure. We're gonna do a bust. It's been a while. I wanna do a bust. Uh, here, I'll bring out all the possible bust options. Okay. So, we got the chef from Mineworks. I'd have to prime him up, but I can do that tonight. Um, we got this fun ogre dude from Hera Models, who also needs to be primed up. We got some fun skull stuff. There's also, well, we haven't seen all the options yet. There's also this little dwarf miner guy. With his little, his little mole friend. There's a cool Yakuza guy. And a suit. got happy girl with a ferret and a beverage, uh, Alana, and then last two, we have sci-fi girl with a whole bunch of NMM stuff going on, and then we have KDM Bust, who's very dusty. <laughs> so we have one vote chef. The chef is cool. Okay. Here, we can prime him up right now. <laughs> that could be out end of the stream. So let me get all this stuff off my desk. are the worst. The Sheffer, I may, I may just also just start this dude tonight because uh, I have to wait for the primer to cure. Unless I decide to just play Elden Ring all night. Yeah. Let's just 
das machen wir jetzt. Okay. Neutral gray primer. So usually when I prime my sky. To remember to target all the crevices and stuff first that are harder to reach.
Okay, so now we just do a rinse over. Okay, now he is all primed up. So this primer is a little bit uh, on the delicate side, so you really need to let it cure. Um, like once, once it's cured, it's pretty much fine. Okay, so that's how you prime. I'm just gonna hit him with the hair dryer just because, why not? I just realized he's supposed to have a cigar that's not there. So let me see if I have his box still. Let's see if the cigar is in there. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, I don't know where it is right now. I'll look for it after the stream, or maybe I'll just sculpt something and stick it in there. Um, but yeah, so we will end. Then yeah, actually, here, let's clean up your brush real quick. Wait. So that's fun. You can also see I've done terrible about my rings today, but that's because it's Sunday. So who cares? I like the rain too. It's one of the reasons why I still live here.
kind of. Are you still planning on going back home, home, to Diana? Or has that plan changed? I would imagine that plan has changed. I would hope that plan has changed. Yeah. <laughs> I would imagine you'd have a hard time coming back from home right now. Yeah. Russia. I think I think visiting Russia for the next foreseeable future is going to be problematic um, in terms of logistics. All right, let's see if there's anybody on line to read. Hmm. Nice. If it's over, uh, I think there's gonna it's gonna be hard to get in and out. Are you gonna get hired in Japan? Nice. Uh, there's not one. Else. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna end the stream without a raid. You guys can, you guys can find somewhere else to go. Um, <laughs> fishing, okay. Like actual, like fishing for stuff, or fishing for jobs. And by fishing for stuff, I mean fishing for fish. Um, but yeah, thanks for uh, hanging out. Uh, hopefully, I can find the cigar. I think I put the box in the garbage and. I, We'll find out. Uh, so, <laughs> I think I took the bag out and I think I saved the bag. So, hopefully, it's just in the bag. So, but, anyways, thank you all for coming and hanging out. Yeah, that sounds good. I've been answering other people's Twitch questions. So, um, but yeah, so, yeah, we're done. It'll look horrible under this light because it's the, the wrong color temperature. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get groceries and food. And then I'm gonna uh, probably play some Elden Ring and then maybe paint something. Maybe I'll just start painting the Dwarf Miner. Um, or we'll see. But anyways, so yeah. See you guys. Uh, I might be in the mood for a stream tomorrow, but if not, I'll be on, on Friday. So see you guys. Bye.